It's a game we just played, a, I like to call counter counter or counter heaven. Um, and you could have really nine versus nine uh, or more, depending on your numbers. And you could set them up a lot differently. Uh, but essentially, you have two wide players, you have recovering players, and players joining from late positions. Goalkeepers get to work on distribution. Um, they can do it from their hands, a throw, they can do it from a uh, punt, or they can do it from the ground. And then this player really should be trying to collect it out of the air, get a positive first touch. And I mentioned a couple of the coaching points here. This is a great game to work um, uh, on the break. And both teams, by the way. Some with numbers up on the break, and the other team with numbers down. And you saw that I rewarded the team with numbers down on the break with a greater number of points. But the idea here is try to get an early ball in behind, try to avoid soft, flat passes because they're easily picked off and countered. And, but you can change this game in a lot of different ways, such as maybe the starting position of one of the forwards instead of out wide, maybe one or two is already up front with two defenders. Maybe you want to have three defenders or more recovering. Um, it, you could just manipulate it to what you want to get out, but this is in its basic form a great way to teach uh, players how to counter um, and make that quick transition um, to, to get to goal. The counterattack has become a much more potent weapon in teams arsenals it's a it allows teams to defend with greater numbers and after regaining possession use quick penetrating passes to get higher up the field early and dangerously exploiting space behind or between the lines when opposing teams have been caught out of shape and they're too big and too spread out in this activity on countering, I want you to look for these coaching points. Finding early, higher balls to targets. Winning the ball quickly and early. Once regaining possession, connecting the ball higher up the field with a target. Looking for quick combinations. Asking players whether they can score in three to five passes. Be aware of soft, flat passes, which can be easily cut out. And consider playing in transition longer blind balls in behind or to the target. These are very important coaching points involved in trying to get your team to counter effectively and efficiently. Two, one penny, two non-pennies. Okay? No cheating, my friend. I know you need a head start, Owen. And play. Five minutes. Run at the deepest player. Sharing the ball is okay. Get to the goal. That's away from goal. Get to goal. Can you find some space behind? And freeze. Dead ball. Sam, try to find some space behind early. Nathan, instead of making your first touch away from the goal, try to make it towards the goal. You had him on the break, though. Here we go, Nick. Come on. Can we collect it? Positive first touch. Run at the deepest player. Offsides! Hey, collect it and run at the deepest player. Come on, Nick. Don't wait. Get it in play. Positive first touch. Run at the deepest player. Then lay it off. That's one way to do a give and go. Counter! In behind! Early! 